the hell was that? Hey, good morning. Sorry? Good morning, good morning. Good morning. What the hell was that off air? Oh. I'm testing a, a new thing here. Okay. What else did you invest in? Well, Dean, this is Jarvis. What would you like me to write for you today? <laughs> this is a new, uh, a guy from my course was using this the other day. And I, I had a call with him yesterday and asked him what it was. It's called mm-hmm, M-M-H-M-M. M-H-M-M-M, okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically it's like a, a video player, but like you can, um, you know, control where you are on the screen. You can have your slides. Uh, How much does it cost? There's a free version. Um, you obviously are not a chump for a free version. Well, I, right now I'm on the free version until I decide whether I want it or not. It's eight thirty three a month, I think. So it's not cheap. It's not cheap. It's a very interesting price point, too. Yeah, but it's... Uh, I don't know. It's a pretty cool little. It's cool. It's got it's got a very soft uh, cutout, and I guess you're on a green screen, right? Uh, no. Nope. Well, I've got my gray curtain in the background. You can change your your rooms. The idea is that you can um, build better presentations. You can share slides without having to do the whole. They call it the share your screen dance, where you're like, okay, I'm going to share my screen. It keeps the presenter kind of front and center. Mm -hmm. um, you can even like, uh, well, zoom yourself. You can ghost yourself a little bit. There's all kinds of, you can put yourself in a circular frame. There's my, without my room that's, background. That's very cool. Anyway. That, that is actually, that's, that's actually very cool. So you picked it all up in the day, right? Uh, I started playing with it uh, 15 minutes ago. Technology is your friend. Yeah, it's amazing. It is. It's 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 the ease with which, like, you're not disappearing. You're not. You. I'm not seeing any controls on the screen, and yet you're manipulating everything. Yeah, so I, I was actually just watching a video on their website. They've launched a new product called mm -hmm, Chunky, which actually, right now, this version is the version that plays within Zoom. Mm -hmm. They have their own platform now, which so is called what? Mm -hmm, Chunky. Oh, that's oh, that's the name. <laughs> Yeah. Platform, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, but you can do all kinds of cool stuff, uh, interchange. Like if I had, uh, you could, you could um, start a, a meeting with a live, like, Hey, how's it going? Could the CEO, did you see the Jays game last night? And then you can jump seamlessly into a pre-recorded presentation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the user doesn't know really that they're, and then you can jump out of it. You can do all kinds of cool shit. So and how much does chunky cost i'm not sure yeah because I, i've been looking at that that that's the one the pre-recorded presentation that's the one feature i really liked about the um thank you um what's it called uh, webinar jam oh, webinar jam ever, yeah. ever webinar yeah they that they had those the the ones that i think it's called ever Evergreen ever webinar. It's oh, it's the yeah. it's this it's this flip of the webinar jam. Webinar jam is supposed to be live, and that one is pre recorded. Right, and that's where they uh, simulate chat, and uh, so it it doesn't have any live portions, but it looks like as if it's live. Yeah. So chat appears. Uh, it's such a. Yeah, I think that's what Amy Porterfield's probably using. Oh, most likely, most likely, because every time, every time you go to one of those uh, webinars, like hundreds of people are in the room, yeah. and they're joining and they're dropping yeah. off. And they're like, oh, look, oh, Vadim just joined. Oh, hi, Vadim. Crystal, good to see you again. <laughs> some tricks of wonder, like, how much is this all bullshit? Yeah, most of it, most of it. Yeah, it's funny, but it looks, it looks natural. Yeah, the thing is, it's it's not designed for uh, anyone to go and see it more than once. Yeah, so true chances of you calling it kind of calling it a, and even and even and even if and even if it is recorded what's the harm yeah you're making yourself available to anyone at any point in time and it feels personal yeah so mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. very cool yeah it is cool what's new 
Uh, not much. I had a busy day yesterday. I had two calls with coaches mm-hmm. you know, to record new things. So uh, they were both really good. I already edited them and sent them to them for their sign off to publish them. Mm-hmm. So hopefully I'll get that today. And, uh, and I had to drive my daughter to work and pick her up. And then she had soccer last night. So, Oh my God, no, not in this heat. Oh yeah. It was bad. Indoors or outside? No, outside at oh, uh, six thirty. Jesus Christ, that's 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 borderline child abuse. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, it was not a good game. They were all exhausted and like I don't know. I can, no one I threw up. So. But uh, I can yeah. only imagine. What else happened yesterday? I guess that's it. I've got two calls today. I got a call at ten with a guy that used to work for me. Mm-hmm. Um just to catch up and tell them about my new project. And then uh, a call at 11, I think I was telling you with my realtor friend to do the filling the experience gap interview. Yeah, I was slaving, I was slaving away yesterday on websites, first on Natalie's website, then on the GTA Property Hub website. Yeah. It's just, uh, it, <laughs> I always, always underestimate how long it takes to set something up. Yeah. It's just, it, it takes a while to get things right. I, I know that once everything is set up, yeah, you're going to be fine. And this is exactly, this is exactly what happened. But I have to say that yesterday found, um, um, so I'm, I don't, I'm not as sophisticated as you are, my friend. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to share my screen right now. I see the uh, good thing with it. Hmm, you don't even need permission to share your screen. Okay. Okay. So are we moving platforms now? No. No, I, if you were on mm-hmm, like I am, you could just share your slides, oh. or your, your screen, whatever. Yeah. So, um, oh, man. So many screens open. Okay, so this I was I was redoing this chat, and um, originally this is her call to action. Yeah. And like an introduction. Let's let's just chat. Let's just have a conversation. And this led to a Calendly invite. Yeah. And because she doesn't have really doesn't really have a business right now where people are inundating her with requests to um, chat. Yeah. She doesn't want to afford, I, I don't want to afford any paid plans. Yeah. And the, here's the thing with Calendly, you can only have one event. So you can only have one thing that people subscribe to. So all of this, all of this great stuff, but then, oh, look, I, I embedded uh, her dispensary, blah, blah, blah. But not, not to show this off, but then you go to my services and, um, here you have three things that you would like to offer each one with a button that you can uh, just book a call with her and yeah. just go here. And this is where I ran into trouble. So if I wanted to go with Calendly, which integrates beautifully with everything that I want, yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. So then I saw, thought, okay, I'm going to be a smart ass. I'm going to f- send people when they click on this button to thrive card to pay and then get them to schedule an appointment. But then you have to introduce a manual step. And imagine if you, somebody wants to book an appointment at uh, 10 p.m. when they're just browsing on the phone. Yeah. What do you have to respond to them at 10 p.m. and then going back and forth? Like that's not good. So I found this thing. It's called setmore.com. So setmore.com is essentially a booking class uh, registration program. And they have on their free plan no restrictions as to how many events you want to set up. So here's the one-on-one intro session, diet review, supplements, guidance. And then it goes through the, like a workflow. Who do you want this with? Yeah. When do you want this? All of it. Like you can set your calendar business hours. Obviously you can set yourself. Uh, Not as flexible as uh, in Calendly because Calendly, for example, you can set Mondays from 10 to one and then from three to six. This one, you just need a block of time. But you can also link your Google Calendar, which means it'll look for free spots. Yeah. So you pick a time and then you pay uh, right on this page. So you, you like put all of your information here and then you click continue. And it's interesting because 
uh, the pro version of this uh, of this tool has integrations with Stripe and PayPal and some other things. The free one only has integration with Square. And Square is one of those uh, companies that I believe should should now own the payment space, but they really didn't. Yeah. Remember Square with the little yeah. thing where you can accept payments anywhere, which is fabulous. Yeah. But I had an account with Square, so it wasn't a big deal. So I just uh, subscribed. So now the workflow is easy. You just go here, you book an appointment, or you go to a specific one and you book an appointment, you land on the same. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh, that's that's not good. See? Why? Okay. Did not say. Uh, okay, so I'll I'll fix that because they, they're all supposed to go to the same page. And um I did not do that properly. Uh, yeah, and it's just it's just incredible how some some big names uh, they always are top of mind, and you know that uh, you know like oh, everyone's using Calendly. Yeah, but you don't really have to. It's not it's not that it's absolutely set in stone that you need to um, use it. So yeah, that, that was my uh, endeavor in the in the world of oh yeah, see, I forgot. That. It's funny because the uh, like I've had now what five so I, say I've had I don't know ten or twelve meetings booked by people using my Calendly link. Yeah, that alone I think is pay it's paid for itself. I, don't, I forget how much I paid for Calendly, but it was like like if I just think about the the back and forth dance I used to go through yeah. with people email them or when are you available? Well, cause my answer usually when people said, when do you want to meet? I'd say, well, my schedule is flexible. So what works for you? And then you'd wait like yeah. 24 hours and they get back and say, how about, you know, this date? And then you're like, Oh, actually this works. Okay. But it's yeah. like, now it's just, although I, I, I did, I have kind of found that like people might be intimidated by Calendly. Um, yeah, if you, if you, yeah, if, if you're not- Especially if it's just something casual you're setting up because it feels so, like in your, this case, it's perfect because it's professional, but like people on LinkedIn, it's like, hey, do you want to catch up? Sure, and I just paste my link. I go here, set some, book a time with me. And then you get ghosted and people are, because I think people are like, wait a minute, what am I signing up for? <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, it's- um, That's very just, good. And it was it's easy to set up, but I'm also seeing um, why is this? so. This is the set more, and when you start when you start exploring these options, you found find out that there are plenty out there that uh, you never probably I never knew existed because you never care to look past the number one or yeah. the most popular one. Yeah, well, that's why you I've noticed like a lot of times whoever's trying to break into that space, they're, they're paying. Like, I forget what was the one that it was. Um, what was that campaign thing you bought? Cam oh, active campaign, active campaign. Cause any, if you search active campaign, the first thing on the thing was a paid ad for whoever their competitor was. It says like, we're better than active campaign. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. That's that, that's true. Because there's, 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 there has to be a way for them. Uh, they want to find a way to just jam themselves in and just say, look, there's, a, there's another consideration. But that's the thing. I mean, services previously, I remember I, was, uh, I, would, I would try a service and uh, I would be disappointed with it. Yeah. Uh, but some of the stuff that you find right now, especially after, if, if you go through reviews, if I'm satisfied with the service, it's really difficult to kind of move me off it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I can see people starting up. It's it's a it's a it's a tough slog uphill. How is yeah. Natalie getting her clients? Do you do you guys have you right. figured that out yet? Uh, I need to calm. Compliment. Oh wow, I misspelled. Yeah, it's um. 
I just similar to you, how you discovered this uh, little tool that you're uh, that you're using right now. It's yeah. it's the same thing. It's it's amazing um, how well designed uh, most of the tools are. I was having some trouble with uh, the Thrive Architect, just figuring out different things, like the changing where images are it seems to be in different places sometimes, like the, the click oh, on it. Yeah, um, it, it, takes, it takes a while. Just and then there's a bunch of stuff I couldn't get lined up, like the bottom of boxes and stuff. And I Just know. ask. Just just ask a question. Like, I mean, no, I know. You, I didn't, you weren't around last week, but oh. I, when I was playing around with it, it was like so, there was some things that were just – Kind of, and then I had to try and remember where the hell did we set up those menus, and that took me a while to, yeah, to figure it, out. There, there's, there's definitely a learning curve. I'm not, I'm not even gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. There is a learning curve around um, how things work. Um, right now, I, I, the more I got used to it, yeah, very much. It's, it's funny because because the contrast between Kajabi, Kajabi is is simple, but it's very, mm -hmm. it's very limited. Mm -hmm. like a lot of the Kajabi themes and stuff like you can't change fonts you can't you know there's only certain things you can do mm -hmm. uh, whereas on the Thrive thing you can basically have complete flexibility yeah I mean this this screen to be honest this screen is overwhelming at times yeah. it's best when it's collapsed but yeah the images like the image is it can be in main options but it's always in the in the background stuff yeah so it's it's always going to be here, but sometimes when you drag an image onto here, because have you used all of these tools? I've used some of them, yeah. The the thing I was trying to edit because I had a theme that had like a background image in it. Yeah. And I couldn't for the light, like it took me probably over an hour to figure out how to change that image because I couldn't mm. find where where it was on the on the the sidebar. Yeah, and then and then it doesn't help that they're so flexible that you can have. Uh, like yeah, overlay. you you can have colors like this is in front of the image. Yeah, this is behind the image. Yeah, this is. And then, have you played around with decorations? No. So you can have a decoration on the side. Like if I put it on this side, you can have a slanted edge. You can have it like this. Yeah. You can have a pointer, and then they give you the option of width and height. Yeah. But this is this is insane, right? Inverted pointer. I know. Like, look, you can have a divider, and then you can have a different style, and then some of them have fancy divider, but not for like it's yeah. usually for blocks. Like this is, uh, it's 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 insane. So uh, initially, it's um, yeah. it is quite overwhelming. The other thing I haven't quite figured out is the adjusting it for mobile device versus desktop. Um, just flip here and adjust it here. Oh, by the way, when you flip to mobile device and when you make changes here, yeah. like the biggest one, the biggest one I always use is layout. Yeah. This is what happens within the frame and this is what happens outside of the frame. So anything you change here is only for mobile view? Yeah, take okay. a look. Okay. Uh, that's that's the part. See, see the services is going to drop. Yeah. So it's been, that's 133. When you go here, because it's not mobile, because it's not responsive, yeah. if I click on the image, you see that this is still zero. Yeah. So this is only for mobile device. Okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go back and make some, some tweaks on my thing. But that's, uh, but then you also have here when you go into Thrive integrations. Uh, oops, sorry. It's, uh, it's funny how they put their stuff at the very end here. Oh yeah, Natalie doesn't have any any of them installed. But your login forms, your lessons, your course profile, like anything, like if you have quizzes, yeah. all of them will be listed here in Thrive Integrations, and you drag them onto the page. Yeah. The other thing I did was I, to put my video, and I just linked a video from YouTube. Yep. Um, I know you event you bought a you got a, that player. I forget the name of it. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, that was fantastic. Spend of money. I used it and uh, I'm not using it anymore. Oh, it's fine. Oh, for for websites, yeah, it's absolutely fine. People just watch it once and that's it. Yeah, it's in courses where it's a pain in the that's, ass. Yeah, that's right. But I saw you also use the frame of a tablet, yeah. Yeah. That's great. It looks yeah. fantastic. 
Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I've offered to make a web page for a couple of the coaches I interviewed to, off my uh, URL. Mm-hmm. So they don't have they don't currently have a website. So what did they say? Uh, I haven't got back responses back from you. Mm-hmm. Like, is it going to be a simple, you know, coaching please slash Helen make peace coach, and then yep. her picture, little blurb, and a link to her to email her or something. Yeah, it's um, it's looking it's, good. It's incredible how yeah company details. So why why is this why is this image not working? Oh, we have so many different assets. It's insane. Thousand two fifty. You did a little photo shoot with Natalie there. Uh, not yet. Her her, her friend did that for her. Oh, okay. I guess I'm still sharing them. So hold on. Whether you want to book an appointment. Why is this not coming through? Oh, well, I'll figure it out. You see, you see the logo's broken? Yeah. Well, it was working yesterday. Mm. And this is, this is how the day goes. You start doing something and you think, oh, man, it's going to take two I minutes. Know. Next thing two hours has gone by. Yeah, two hours go by and kind of like, oh crap, what's what's happening here? Yeah. So okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I got more more of the same to do today. And um, I've actually done a couple of uh, blog posts. Yeah. And I'm finding that there's also a learning curve. It seems so simple in the videos, but it's not. Because uh, in Jarvis, adjusting some of the um, some of the things that you that you have on a sidebar, like keywords, what the article is about, drastically changes what what it's writing. All right. So you, have you? I guess you haven't posted anything yet to find out how it uh, ranks on SEO. I I have and I have posted. Well, sorry, I just posted it yesterday. Okay. So, and I don't know how long it takes because. Um, Google doesn't scrape your website uh, every single day. So what I do is because you also, I, we all, we installed that SEO plugin on your website. Yeah. Did you submit your uh, sitemap to Google? Uh, probably not. This is what, this is what the difference is between Kajabi and the WordPress is uh, you, I, I mean, I need to push my sitemap to Google kind of like um, asking it. I made changes, crawl the website now. Yeah. Okay. So that that gets it. Um, yeah, I, I, I have only just finished putting it together. So yeah. Well, it's um, it's yeah, it's all it's 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 incredible how much uh, how much you and I know. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, but compared to what I knew, like whatever eight months ago, it is incredible. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true. I've uh, I discovered a completely new world. Yeah, it's cool. Like they, even this mm-hmm product, like they only launched a year ago. Like it's it's amazing in this space how fast things change and like how many new things come out and um, so on. So, so uh, yeah, it is. And, and funny, 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 interest. Like I don't know, funny, interesting, or scary. It's hard to keep. It's hard to keep abreast of everything that's happening. Yeah. And, um, and all those shiny new things, like they keep innovating. Yeah. Keep innovating. Anyway. All right. So I'm off uh, the next three days. Hopefully. Good. Yeah. With good weather. The forecast isn't looking great, but uh, I'm not trusting the forecast. Yeah, forecast is not it's not solid, but um, I'm sure. Look, I went to the college. I was supposed to be rained out Tuesday to Friday. Yeah. Tuesday, it did rain. The rest of the days were just magical. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my we'll friend. We'll see you Monday for episode 100. Unbelievable. And you're, you'll be hosting. No pressure.
Make sure to record. <laughs> I'm not going to have any fancy backgrounds, but I'm sure you will. I'll have something, yeah. You will. Oh, my God. 100 episodes. That's crazy. I'm, I'm surprised you tolerated me for 100 meetings. <laughs> hey, Greg. Speaking of which, maybe we should do a pivot. Yeah. Um, like, our episodes, obviously, are very difficult to follow for anyone who's not... Um, who has the patience to look at two guys bantering about uh, oh, their yeah. lives and what they've done the previous day for an hour. Yeah. We're at a hundred episodes. Um, what if we switch this to a podcast? Yeah. Hmm? Sure. We can do it. I mean, we can talk about different things. I, I was, it's, it's a, it's a natural inflection point, right. To, to think like what's the next hundred episodes yeah. look like or yeah i'm thinking i'm thinking we can we can do um we can come up with a theme for each episode and yeah. the theme is obviously going to be around the stuff that we do yeah coaching and what problems and we talk about that for 15 minutes yeah now it it will require some editing yeah and i will i think i will splurge on on the microphone so that it's it sounds better but at least we have we have a theme and then we could post it under that theme. And this is no longer going to be entrepreneur versus entrepreneur. This is going to be uh, some sort of a podcast. Yeah. And uh, Kajabi actually has just launched a podcast tool. Um, what's, what's the tool? I'll show it to you. So you can people can sign up for the RRS feed. Yep, RSS. RSS, yeah. And uh, where is my thing? Hmm. I don't know why my episodes aren't here. Hello friends, Greg Fisher here from Team Unleash Your Potential. Anyway, you can, uh, the, the good thing with this, if you use this through yep. the Kajabi app, like you can listen to the audio with your phone locked. Mm -hmm. So it's a proper audio player. Interesting, okay. But I'm just, I'm just saying that, that, you know, if we want to host it on here. Well, I think we should host it everywhere. Yeah. I don't know what it costs or does it, if it costs anything to put it on like Spotify or... Um, yeah, I don't think so. Soundhound. It's funny. I mean, when we started this, it was like a no break. Like we're just meeting anyway, just record it and post it, right? Like it was just creating content. Yeah. Like we, we really don't have a... Other than just an authentic, genuine... This is what real people's boring conversations are like. <laughs> yeah, it. it um... There's no production value. There's no uh, um, editing, for the most part. We have all the. Well, I mean, most of the tools. I mean, we're not gonna. We're not gonna make this a picture perfect sound. Yeah. Production because one, we don't have the skills. Two, we don't have. Um, we don't have the necessity for this. Yeah. But um, I'm just going to uh, take a look. Uh, yeah, but we, we could do a short, like 15 minute episodes, no more yeah. than half an hour like, uh, on, a, on a topic. Like yeah. You've talked about, um, you have plenty of topics. We, we've, the worst thing is, is like we can't really go back to our, our like review all of our shows and something. I remember, remember that 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 one episode when I had just a flow of, um, flow of consciousness and I did not record it. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was pathetic. 
<sighs> How many million dollar ideas were lost? Yes, just because of my incompetence. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll we can uh, pick that up on Monday and decide what we want to do. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Have fun. Good, my friend. And website land. Okay. Bye bye.